This Topeka Capital Journal trip in time by sports columnist Kevin Haskin takes us back to October 18, 1986, when Kansas State topped Kansas 29-12 in the annual Sunflower Showdown. Hired on the promise he came to Kansas State to win and to win this fall, Stan Parrish installed a new offensive system based on attacking through the air. In his first meeting against the Wildcats' in-state rival, Parrish squared off against another new coach, Bob Valicente of Kansas. So what did Air Parrish do? He mostly stuck to the ground. K-State rushed for 210 yards on a whopping 64 carries, including a game-high 98 yards from tailback Tony Jordan. Three field goals by Mark Porter and a pick six by Eric Harper also helped the Cats go wire to wire before 38,320 in KSU Stadium. The Jayhawks came in here and kind of laid down like they didn't have to play hard, said K-State defensive end Grady Newton, who recorded three sacks. They didn't seem to be ready, at least that's the way it seemed to me. KU had opportunities to gain control, but could not convert any points out of three early possessions deep in K-State territory. Two of those chances came off turnovers, and the other came after two personal fouls against the Wildcats. That's been happening all year, and it's certainly trying for our football team, Valicente said of the blown opportunities. Something's there, but we just can't grab it. While the outcome seemed encouraging for K-State, it would be the only Big 8 victory for Parrish. He went 1-19-1 in conference play with a 1-1-1 one, one, one mark against KU and was fired after three seasons. Bill Snyder took over as coach in 1989. A year earlier, Kansas also made a coaching change, firing Valicente after two seasons and a 0-13-1 mark in Big 8 play. He was succeeded by Glenn Mason.